Hi, this is Sherry Veronica. Yesterday, someone sent me an excerpt of a video that Patrick King did on Facebook, and I don't usually listen to Patrick King, I have to admit, but they, and they know it, and they say, please listen to this particular video. And I am glad I did listen because he kind of made sense. Their talk, he was dealing with the march that is coming up for the 10th there in Barbados, where it's a money making thing. And I had Patricia Benedict on her, she was on for two interviews. And she also mentioned that, and I didn't really get into it, but she said it's a money making thing. And he was saying, take a look at the females that are going to be at this particular march. Take a look at the people that you are coming out to rally and to march for. And he showed from his phone, uh, Barbadian women, and it was not a really good sight. It was not a good sight. You know, I don't know if they're females of the night or what, but they were having a really good time and scantily dressed so he was saying these are the people and the kids learn from these people the, the your children learn from what they see you doing so when you are gathering to protest are you gathering to protest against yourself that, that's he didn't say that i'm saying that i'm saying what i just said but he should have said it. He, he was right there, but he didn't quite say that. But that's what I got. I gathered from what he was saying. It's what I say all the time. Are you going to gather together on Saturday, the 10th of June, 2023, to protest against yourself? And no sooner then I listened to him. It was a seven minute clip. It was longer, but that person took out part of it for me. Then the people who he had up on his phone and he was showing them in different situations. Then this came out, this came and there were, they, everything, every other sentence, they were just telling him where to go and whatever. So as a, person as a blogger you must expect this as a blogger you must have thick skin this you, you, i'm sure you've heard the song they sing about me <laughs> anyhow anyhow please buy the books when you hear the song please search for the books okay yes it's written in books but yes you have to have thick skin when you blog and when you speak on things that you see you're not supposed to have an opinion and that's why when they talk about heroes in Barbados I always ask where Ooh, where where are the heroes because the laws against speaking out are strong and they they actually enforce those laws they may not enforce other laws that are happening they're, they're not going to enforce certain things because it's enjoyable it has a pleasure principle attached to it but they do enforce laws where you cannot call someone's name and if you do they can drag you into the court so um going back to patrick he was talking about the protest on saturday and in a in a word, in a sentence, to make a long story short, I went on for too long already. But yeah, it is all um, a game. Nobody, nobody means it. In fact, I can, if you can put a video on everyone that's there, if you, if you had the opportunity to insert a video on, especially the males, all the males that are there on watch them before they got there watch them after they leave watch them for the whole watch them for the whole month then you would understand what i'm saying you would understand what i'm saying trust no one trust no one everyone who appears saturday 
they, they have this forgiveness factor. Oh, you have to forgive. You have to forgive. They have that forgiveness factor. But when people are crying out in pain, there's no forgiveness. There's no forgiveness from them. They, they, in, they inflict harm and injury and there's no forgiveness but then after they reach the paper and their face is plastered in the news then it's like oh forgive me forgive me but they didn't forgive their victim they don't forgive their victims when they are doing whatever they're doing so everyone keep an eye on everyone that shows up on saturday to speak at this rally you're gonna see murderers you're gonna see fraudsters you're gonna see counterfeiters you're gonna see uh, criminals criminals that's who are those are the people on the plat on the platform on saturday that are going to speak to you to tell you they're gonna be telling you how you should be and what you should do and what you should do criminals okay ex-cons Ex-cons are who are going to be there to tell you how you should treat your kids and what you should do and what you should not do. It's all a ruse. It's You cannot take it seriously. You cannot take it seriously because people in Barbados, parents in Barbados who are very capable of taking care of their children, they're not bothered. They're not bothered. It's the ones that their kids go to school and repeat what they see happening in the homes. Those are the parents that are worried because they don't want, they, they do not want that door that is open to be closed. They do not want access to kids closed. And they, 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 they're pretending that they care, but all they care about is having access to your kids. Share Veronica.